hey booktube chelsea they're getting outlaw here to do another saturday snapshot i promise you guys one day sexy saturdays will return to this channel i am just not necessarily feeling the romance at this particular moment for whatever reason but that's probably a different conversation for a different time i just wanted to check in with you guys and get you guys all caught up uh, in terms of what i am reading i am about 30 percent of the way through the starless sea by aaron morgenstern i love this book but i loved the night circus if you did not love the night circus i don't know if you will like this book the two books are very different in terms of plot but feel very similar in terms of writing and style so if the style of the night circus or the language of the night circus is something that put you off that might be something to know going into the starless sea but i adored it this is a book about books this is a book about stories and fables and the power that they possess this is about the links we will go to to guard stories and the powers that stories have. It is fantastically built. Aaron Morgenstern's imagination is stunningly creative in my opinion and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love all of the little interludes which are like folk tales that Aaron Morgenstern has crafted that feel so real and so historically based and I'm just in such awe of her talent. So I'm taking my time and really enjoying getting through the Starless Sea. In terms of what I am listening to, I am officially and finally allowed to listen to Christmas music. I know other people have varying feelings about this. This is a controversial topic. However, my birthday is in November. So for me and my house, we start on Halloween. Well, technically the day after Halloween. We start on the 1st of November. We get all of November, all of December, and some of January to rock those Christmas tunes with no abject shame or the need to couch it in any kind of apology. So that's what we're doing right now. I have been cycling through all of my favorites. That includes NSYNC's Home for Christmas, which is maybe one of my favorite Christmas albums of all time, because like John Mulaney said, is there any music that you don't relate to like you relate to the music when you're 14? Um, I have also really, really been enjoying the She and Him Christmas album, as well as the Amy Grant Christmas album, and then also Motown Christmas. I love it all. I love Christmas music. I'm so glad that that time of year is finally here when I can listen to Christmas music and nobody will look at me too funny or at least I feel like I have a case to be made. So that's what I'm currently listening to. Watching wise, Partner is Home and We Started Succession. Oh my god, this television show that is just about rich white people being the worst. I love it. I love it so much probably should have known that I was gonna love it because I have a weird thing for Kieran Culkin that I've had for a very long time. He's my favorite of the Culkin family and I think Roman as a character is deeply flawed and kind of gross but also charming in that way that I just can't help but find attractive. I also think Harama Boss who plays the main son Gideon I think his name is. See how bad I am with names? We've only watched like three or four episodes and you would think I have no main character's name, but here we are. Uh, I love him. Everybody in this cast does such a great job with acting. I was shocked to see Matthew McFadden's name listed in the credits and then to realize who he was playing and like, it's just so different than the last time I saw him, which was as Darcy. So highly recommend Succession if you have an HBO subscription that you've been meaning to use since Game of Thrones ended. Definitely check that one out. And then in terms of what I'm making, I'm not making anything because can you guys tell? I finished it. I finished my sweater. This is the Goldenrod sweater by Eleven Handmade Knits. This is her pattern and design. I will link it down below. The only difference of what I did was that I added the thumb holes along the sleeves because I love sweater thumb holes, but even without those, it fits beautifully. I ended up with a bunch of extra yarn. Let's see if I can like get, no, not even going to mess with that. But yeah, you can see, and then the design goes all the way down the back. I do have to wear something underneath it because it is like slightly sheer just because double crochet is kind of a looser stitch. So that's fine with me. I mean, it's winter time. It's a sweater. I don't mind wearing something under it, but I'm so fucking happy. I am so stoked. I love the color. I love the way it looks. I love that I made it with my hands. I took yarn that was just yarn and I made it into something I can wear out of my house. And I love that. I love creating. I love the creative process, but that's uh, probably again, another thing for another time. So yeah, that's my current update friends. That's what I've got going on in my life. I hope that you guys are all staying warm, staying cozy, staying safe and mentally prepared as we go for this holiday season which I know can be hard for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. So if you ever need to come talk to me, my DMs are open. Otherwise, friends, leave me a comment, like, subscribe down below, all of that good stuff. Leave me an emoji to let me know that you got this far. And until next time, 
Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have happy reading. Bye.